Let's figure out this blur tool. Begin by typing in some text. This can also be a, any um, movie symbol. And uh, the key here is that you can go to uh, properties and you will see that there is this thing called filters. So I'm just going to use a selection tool to select it. And when you see the properties, you, there's a filters drop down box here. There's a little page here that says add filter. So in this case, we're adding a blur filter to our text. It could also be any movie clip. So we add a blur filter. Notice how it's very blurry. And this is, you can use the scrubbing bar here. You can type in some new values. You can blur it just a little bit. Type in 2. Uh, you can also make it very blurry. And notice how we have no blur here. Let's go to the timeline. We can even create a tween here. Uh, right click insert keyframe so in the beginning we can make it uh, very blurry so let's go to properties and uh, you can go to the blur option here and drag it higher whereas the end the end keyframe there is no blur so notice how you can even use blur filters with uh, tweening so congratulations, you now know how to use the blur filter. And please take some time to play with uh, other filters as well. So when you actually uh, click on your keyframe and your object, you can go to properties. There's some other cool filters here as well. If you click on add, uh, you really should try playing with these other filters as well.